We've just been so worried about our son. He's going to Princeton in the fall. Oh, I've heard of it. You know, we tried everything to bring him out of his shell. He doesn't come out of his room. He doesn't talk to girls, he doesn't drink. So when you say date him, do you mean date him or date him? Yes. Date him. Date him hard. Okay. I'll date his brains out. He volunteers at the animal shelter. Hi. Mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. How about I give you a ride home? Um, this isn't the way to my house. It's a shortcut. You're my hostage. What you got down there? Something for me? <laughs> Why? You tried kidnapping me! You're 19, grow up! You're watching Black Tree on TV. Hi. Hey Jamal, we're great. Thank thanks for thanks for taking the time. <laughs> it's such a fun movie. I mean, I, I laughed all the way through and you know I I've thought about this question a lot, like how am I gonna ask this question? But the movie just opens it up. Jennifer, like, can you talk about how the first time could be less awkward for all these people <laughs> that might be losing their virginity soon or, <laughs> or whatever? <laughs> not, not for that situation, because I think about all these movies, 40-year-old virgin, you know, good big girls don't cry, all these movies that deal with that. Like how could that situation be less awkward? Because definitely you're, you're... You know, my favorite fact about that scene is that it's based off of Gene, the writer and director, <laughs> his real life. That is actually how he lost his virginity. Or thought wow. he lost his virginity. <laughs> that is true. And wow. I don't know if he is okay with me saying that. Well, now it's known, Jamal. <laughs> you were the first to know. Andrew, I, I know that you won a, a, a Jimmy Award in a high school and now won an Emmy. Like, how did how did, did that give you the confidence to continue continue to chase this dream? Please, dog, stop jumping in. Definitely, it's funny. My my like my mom and my parents growing up were so we called my mom the anti stage mom. Like, it was not like I was pushed into this in any way. And I, I think the the Jimmys were actually really the first time that they and I were like, okay, this might actually work out. This might. Uh, be something that I can do. And I think it was encouraging to me to just, the, the Jimmys were something that I like begged my teacher to let me do. Um, so to keep in touch with what it was that I wanted and the kind of stories I, I wanted to be telling and, and what I felt was right for myself. And that, that led me here, so it's worked out all right. Jennifer, you you take a long road trip in this, in this story. I, I won't, won't ruin it for the audience that haven't seen it, but I know you're from Louisville. But where, what's the longest road trip you've taken? Um, From Louisville to, to LA. It was really, really long, but beautiful. Once you get into like the Arizona area, gorgeous. Yeah. 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 So I know, Andrew, that you, that you go to Harvard. I just went back to school. I'm a non-traditional student. I'm cool. 40 going back to Vanderbilt. Nice. How, can you think about your first day at, at Harvard and uh, how, how, was, how it was going there? Yeah, you know what? I, I really like, I really wanted a good first day of college story, actually. And there was still like a lot of COVID-y stuff going on. Um, but I like, so we were like testing. We had to stay in our dorm. And finally, I tested negative. I got out of my dorm and I just took the train into Boston, sat at Legal Seafoods. These women next to me where I was sitting were like going to see John Mulaney that night. It was sold out for like weeks. And I checked my phone. And th I'm, this is story's too long. I checked my phone and I was like, oh my God, there's tickets available, but you can only buy them in two. And so I looked at the guy next, sitting next to me at the bar and said, do you want to see John Mulaney with me tonight? And this random guy that I met, and I, when I went to see John Mulaney on tour in Boston and he got up and walked out in the middle and I had a text what? from him after, cause I had to get his number to like get the ticket stuff. And he texted me after, sorry, man, he's got to find a better line of work. Like that wasn't Whoa, funny. How That's my first day of college off. story. Wow. Yeah, it was great. I, I I've only done one semester so far, but I I. I do oh, I was picturing this guy older than you, but he this is. is a college nope. person. No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> this kid is unfuckable. <laughs> have a drink together. He'll have a Long Island iced tea. This is the worst iced tea I've ever had. Okay. One thing about me, I'm the baddest alive. Dance Can party. I don't know what to do. I just know my mom would have wanted me to save the house. He's probably just nervous. Why don't you loosen him up? We can go skinny dipping. What about sharks? Men here. Jellyfish? Not the season. It's really the lack of lifeguards. Let's get the fuck in here right now. Okay. I'm just a bit of a romantic. He's actually really sweet. 
The best part about getting older is not giving a fuck what people think. I'm an adult now. I can make my own decisions. That's that's good. You want to savor it. Savor it. Come on, you're getting out of here. You don't belong here. Don't Let's touch me. Get away from her. Stay. Speaking of older than first, me and you, uh, Jennifer, we're we got, got similar birthdays. I'm August 12th, you're August 15th. We're a lot of years apart. Oh, a Leo. Leo love. Um we're the best. What what would could you see in a younger a younger man? Like what like what do you think if you had that if you had that date with a with a 20 year old, 19 year old? Like what do you think would be like something that you would gain from it, like from that experience? Like I mean, I did, I I kind of did date a 20 year old. <laughs> and what I got from it was really cool information, amazing points of view. I mean, I, like, I just, I think, I mean, God, this makes me sound old, but the, this next generation, they're so smart and they, they are like so passionate. And um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from Andrew. I felt old, <laughs> but you know, that wasn't it. I also had fun. Okay, good. Well, it was a fun movie. I had fun the whole oh, time. Oh, thank I you. Thanks so much. Else. Sees no hard feelings to have fun. Thank you guys for your time. You have an excellent day. Thanks, Thank Jamal. You. Have a good one.